Students around the Tri-State have one week left to get ready for a big robotics competition. But they're not only building and programming robots, they're actually researching real-world problems dealing with nature's fury, and they're designing solutions. Meteorologist Josh Knight went to speak to the teams and learn more about the project. There's the generator. First, may not be an organization you're familiar with. It aims to inspire youth to get involved in science and technology, and it's working. These Ross School District students are gearing up for a first LEGO League competition, but it's more than just building. My favorite part is the research, so I always come back because th they could not do it without me, obviously. <laughs> Caitlin Wagonfield is an eighth grader at Ross Middle School, joking about her team, the Metal Chihuahuas. This year, teams research specific problems that occur in natural disasters. I got to talk to the Ross students about blizzards and hurricanes and the hazards they bring. Caitlin remembers specifically when remnants of Hurricane Ike moved through the tri-state. And I know stuff in my neighborhood got damaged, and just a, a little taste of that, it makes you realize that they really do lose everything. Her team decided to focus on hurricane preparation and designed an app to help people save important documents and memories right to the Internet. You can access it from anywhere in the world, so if anything you have gets destroyed, you have your insurance paper, documents, certificates, family photos, it's great. Teams also got a chance to talk with engineers from Procter & Gamble and coordinators from FEMA. Then, of course, there's the robotics portion. Teams program these robots to complete different missions. And students on these teams are excited about the real-world applications to their projects, but say it's all about teamwork. I love the people that I'm with because I really would have never met these people if it wasn't for this, and they've become one of my best friends. In Ross, Josh Knight for Local 12 News. A tiny superhero saved.